Ozzy here. By his side is one of the participants of the very first mobile column in 1969, Brigadier General retired Colin Tessera. Leading the column is Singapore's very own main battle tank, the Leopard 2 SG. With their high mobility, devastating firepower and armor protection, our Leopard spearhead our army. The upgraded Leopard 2 SG increases the situational awareness and initiative of our vehicle commanders, making the Leopard 2 SG one of the finest tanks in the world. Wow. Introducing the Army's first fully digitalized armored fighting vehicle, the Hunter. Equipped with 360-degree view and remote control weapon system, the Hunter allows the crew to operate close hatch. With its strong firepower and versatility, the Hunter is one of the most feared vehicles on the battlefield. Closely behind the Hunter are the Bionic's armored fighting vehicles. Together, their high mobility, protection, and firepower allows them to dominate the front line. Next up is the versatile Bronco all-terrain tracked carrier. It comes in several variants to meet a range of operational demands and is designed to maneuver in different types of terrain. Our next vehicle is the Terex Infantry Carrier Vehicle. The Terex allows our infantry troops to maneuver swiftly and safely across the battlefield. In the next packet are the new Belrex Protected Combat Support Vehicles. The Belrex provides better protection and stronger firepower for our soldiers. Behind the Belrex is the Light Strike Vehicle Mark II from the Guards. In addition to its impressive mobility, it is equipped with anti-tank missiles and grenade launchers. Wow. Up next are our Army Intelligence Troopers. They deploy their unmanned aerial vehicles to collect information in the battlefield. From the artillery formation, we have the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. Its GPS-guided rockets has a range of 70 kilometers. Next up is Artillery's latest vehicle, the Safari Weapon Locating Radar. Equipped with the latest early warning technology, it protects the Army against artillery fire. Leading the combat engineers is the L2 Armored Engineer Vehicle, capable of overcoming a variety of obstacles. Other assets include the L2 Armored Vehicle Launch Bridge, allowing heavy vehicles to cross wide gaps. Closely behind are the M3G float bridges, which whoa, carry out forces whoa. across water bodies. Water, water, water. Spot the new addition to the combat engineers, the mobility support system, which allows the crossing of our tracked and wheeled vehicles over soft ground. From the signals formation are the VSAT subscriber detachment. These vehicles facilitate communication between different units for the Army's various operations, such as humanitarian missions. Now leading the Combat Service Support Command, we have the new Wheeled Recovery Vehicle with enhanced recovery capabilities. Next up are the new Ford F550 Combat Ambulance, which is equipped with advanced life support equipment. For the first time at NDP, we have the Asta 30 Air Defense System from the Republic of Singapore Air Force. This next generation system is more advanced, shoots further, and protects Singapore against aircraft and missiles. The Aster 30 meets the MP Star Radar and Spider Air Defense System to safeguard Singapore skies. Over the years, the SAF and Home Team have contributed to global peace and security through peace support counter piracy, humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief operations. Our brave men and women in uniform have flown our Singapore flag high, going above and beyond to make Singapore proud. They have made a real difference in people's lives and have earned the recognition of our international partners. Without hesitation, they have answered the call of duty at short notice. Serving in foreign lands and seas in harsh conditions, far away from home and loved ones. This is our strength in action. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the second wow. segment, showcasing our strength in action.
Safeguarding our waters 24-7 is the Republic of Singapore Navy. Here comes the specialized marine craft, which is actually one of the smallest ships in the Navy. Making its debut appearance is the combatant craft medium deployed for maritime counterterrorism and maritime special operations. Deployed for counter piracy operations overseas, such as in the Gulf of Aden, we have the Protector Unmanned Surface Vessel. Next, the Scan Eagle UAV acquires enemy targets far over the horizon. Our frigates will then launch their harpoon missiles to take out surface enemies. Targets in the air are no match for our surface-to-air Astro missiles, while underwater, our submarines fire torpedoes to strike their targets. Leading the next packet is Major Alan Lowe, a veteran of our humanitarian assistance and disaster relief deployments. Spot the Water Purification Unit and the Lock 5 from the Singapore Army. Behind them are the SCDF's Dark Urban Search and Rescue Vehicle, which has been deployed in various overseas peacekeeping operations. Rounding up this segment is our mobile yeah. column sergeant major, Master Warrant Officer Neo Hun Kui. Look out for the mobile column as it rolls down to the heartlands on the 10th of August. You look like a statue. <laughs> Whoa. Against an uncertain global landscape, the threats we face are becoming more complex. They can strike unexpectedly, threatening our loved ones and our way of life. Over the years, the SAF and Home Team have strengthened their integration to enhance readiness and provide joint security yeah. responses in the air, land and sea. National agencies and individual Singaporeans have also played their part in building Singapore's ability to overcome any emergency. Whatever challenges lie ahead, we can be assured that the SCF and Home Team stand ready to respond to any security threat and that Singaporeans will rally together towards securing our Singapore. The third segment is titled Securing Our Singapore, where we salute our security forces for keeping Singapore safe. Making a grand appearance on the motorcycles from the SAF and home team. Next are the Peacekeeper Protected Response Vehicles, which enhances our island defense operations. At the tail of the packet are vehicles from our CBRE engineers, capable of neutralizing any bomb threat. What? Wow. From the Singapore Police Force are the Fast Response and Emergency Response Cars, which are first to react to any public security incident. Look out for the Police Tactical Vehicle, which boasts greater versatility and protection for our policemen. Oh, oh. Rounding up this segment of vehicles from the Singapore Civil Defence Force, in the lead is the 6th Generation Light Fire Attack Vehicle, also known as the Red Rhino. Red Rhino! Following behind are the unmanned firefighting machine and a series of robots that are able to detect and fight fire autonomously. Look out for the all-new dark amphibious vehicle, which can be used for coastal firefighting amphibious. and water rescues. Huh? Supporting them are the fire medical vehicles that combine both firefighting and medical capabilities. I'm more interested in the, the final vehicle is the upgraded combined platform Ladder 60, used for operations involving high-rise buildings. Wow. Hey, With its upgraded capabilities, the SCDF protects and saves lives for a safer Singapore. What are they doing? National service began in 1967 amidst a period of uncertainty and hardship. The Merdeka generation were the early batches to serve national service and grew up during Singapore's struggle for independence. We salute our Merdeka generation for building national service to become a key national institution. As we move forward, every generation of NS men continues to build on our pioneers' commitment and will to defend our country.
Every one of us must play our part in safeguarding our home, our loved ones and our way of life. As we live the dreams of our pioneers, let us continue to be pioneers of our future. For this is our strength, our Singapore. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, may we invite those from the Madeka generation seated amongst you to please stand up and join us in this final segment. Madeka. Rounding up the mobile column are 39 of our Madeka generation servicemen who have stepped forward in the early wow. years of Singapore's independence to lay the foundations of our key national institutions. Their unwavering commitment to defense have kept Singapore safe and secure over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, our Madeka generation, we salute them for their dedication and service to our nation. We will continue their spirit to defend our country. This is our strength, our Singapore! Yeah. Okay.